our annotations are in place database is in place entity models are in place now our next job is to create the data entry form we'll create it slowly slowly let us start come to the solution explorer uh, let us begin by adding controller add controller create the home controller the action is added for us automatically add the action also add add the view for this action add view create a strongly typed we will not worry about this we will add, uh, add the rate model on our own create as partial no it's the proper view so click add this is the view that has been added for you as usual and we can run it to see what is the output so far this is the output it simply prints index nothing much was expected but the whole point was to see whether the project is working to this point or not this means all the annotations all the models we added earlier they have been added correctly and uh, there are no syntax or or other errors now we'll uh, we have to proceed from here as we saw in our theory when we were studying this process it is generally better to add templates here those templates will be useful at the time when we want to add it also for editing the same form will work for us as the form is for data entry so it is better to add templates for that we'll go to the home this template will be related to the home we right click here add a folder give it a name editor temp dates this is the folder there where we'll add the editor templates and we'll reuse them from this code to add a template we'll right click add we'll write here we can add view also it's no problem we can call it a uh, registration form create as a partial view this will help us uh, prevent all the junk code that might enter otherwise we can also add here tpl registration this one and since this is our model tpl registration we are dealing with this one we can click add so this is the basic form that is available the basic template that is available to us I can write a small string hello template inside a span I can write just for testing nothing else now I link my I'll incorporate this template into that since I'm creating a data entry form I'll start by writing at the rate using HTML dot begin form okay here I'll write HTML dot editor for model and pass the name of the template here registration form registration form
and here I can include the submit button input type is equal to submit value is equal to save and I can close it here now let us run it whether this registration form comes into this or not we have used the templated version whatever form is done in this registration form will have to appear inside this and as I can revise it this one will create the starting form tag and ending form tag will be closed here this one with proper settings and this one will close here whatever input elements they will be appearing here they will be taken up from the registration form and when they are laid down then you can you will see the input type is equal to submit and value is equal to save let us now run this and see what this is the output we get we wrote this line inside our template it has appeared and the save button is there so this means our editor template has merged with our index action and the view let us now proceed further to include the HTML input elements for this we will move to the registration form remove this one our stre strategy will be to uh, bring one input element at a time bring it check it then proceed to the next one so let us first of all add our email input this is how it can be td email text box for x goes to x dot email id this will generate a text box that will be appropriately wired for the email id when this form is posted this email id will be set uh, the data for the email id field will be picked from this text box and the object field which will be received as an argument in the action then HTML dot validation message for this will present the validation message for that email ID field we have added it and let us now test it also simultaneously save the form is there but validation is not working neither client side nor server side for this let us complete the action method get that validation in place then proceed further we can write public action result action result index tpl registration tbr right click resolve using entity models it's in our that folder if you remember HTTP post here we can write if model state dot is valid So do something and else it will not validate and we can write return view else validation fails we need not do anything it will be taken care of by this return 
and if it is valid we can uh, do something store store to database we are not writing that code right now return view so if this method is in place then server side validation will start working that is the only thing we need here let us verify it uh, when we type here watch here post pack will occur post pack occurred and email field is required let us type something that is not an email click on save that email has not matched the regular expression type something that matches an email address sales.hoven at gmail.com click save and it works so our server side validation is working we can now switch on the client side validation also let us do that also side by side for this let us search our layout file it should be in the shared folder double click it we'll have to add our client side validation enabling code here one thing is we need to include the bundles for jquery validation they will include all the necessary validation files if you want we can have a look at them here in our app start bundle config so jquery well will include the unobtrusive and validate all jquery relevant jquery files for client side validation coming back to our layout layout this one is the layout second thing we need to add two markers for a uh, client validation enabled is true unobtrusive javascript enabled is true so we need to add markers for these also and uh, this is the only thing that is required if our annotations are proper then we just have to put these two or three lines here and it will start working let us now test it okay now we are not going to type anything and you can check no postback will occur save no postback occurred this means this is client validation that has occurred type something that is not an email address for example we'll type support and it is firing type something that is a valid email address and it works correctly so uh, we have been following a very very systematic approach we are writing one thing testing it then we are proceeding to the next thing so we stop for this we'll in the next lecture we'll proceed on to add the field for date time that will need a little bit of work okay we stop here thanks for the lecture